we'll touch on the, the Hurling League final, I suppose, for the next couple of minutes. It was Waterford 420, Cork 123. What were your thoughts on this as a, a Cork fan? A bit of a demolition in the end, I suppose. I mean, I know, I know it finished as a, a six-point game, but it was very, very comfortable for, for Waterford in the end. It was. It was a very, very comfortable game for Waterford, and considering Jamie Barron, Austin Gleeson, a few of their players as well were missing for this game, and Cork still couldn't beat them. It kind of shows, like, um, Cork fans are a bit, you know, a bit delusional in the past few weeks. We were thinking, I've seen on my own podcast as well, I've been having Cork fans on to me, we have one hand in the Liam McCarthy Cup. No, lads, it doesn't work like that. We have to beat the big teams in these big particular games. And with Waterford, they were without their first two players, and Jamie Barron and Austin Gleeson, and we still lost the game. So, I, I mean... Like, I, I don't know where Cork go to at the moment. I think there's a few tweaks needed to this team. First of all, Shane Kingston, I'm not sure why he doesn't start. He's our best hurler of the team. Like, that's like saying David Clifford, you're kicked off the Kerry team. I mean, why are we putting Shane Kingston on the bench? He's undoubtedly our best hurler at the moment. At the moment, people will argue, oh, Patrick Horgan. Lads, it's not 2013 or 2014. This is 2022. Shane Kingston's our best player at the moment, and he's not in the starting 15. I mean, it's it's ridiculous to think that. And actually, on Horgan, I actually think he slows the team down a small bit. I actually think he, he, he'd be better off not starting in this team. I know it's not necessarily a bad a bad thing for Cork going down the line. Like, he is bad for Horgan, fanboys and all that. But when you look at um, the forwards we have, I think Conor Lee Han, Seamus Hart, me. Uh, Robbie O'Flynn, Shane Barris, Alan Connolly, and Shane Kingston are all better players. That's six forwards I've named. They're all better than Patrick Horgan at this particular moment in time. Look, when you look at the stats, Patrick Horgan's only scored two points from playing the last two games. Patrick Horgan's won three from playing one game. So, look, it tells you, like, he's going back a small bit. Like, he's only scored overall in the league, I think, one six from play. And that's not really impressive whatsoever in any shape or form. So, look, um, we need to fix up our full back line as well. And this game probably showed that we missed Darrell O'Leary. He went off with an injury against Kilkenny in the semi-final. He was missing for this game and our defence got torn apart. Like, Damien Cahalan, I would say, like, like Damien Cahalan is not a hurler. He's a footballer. I, I don't know why he's in the full back line. You know, in all honesty, uh, Kieran Joyce, he played well in midfield in the first game. Why do you need to change us? Put him in midfield throughout the championship and throughout the league. Like, we have the players. There's no doubt we have the players to win the All-Ireland. It's just technical decisions. A bit of braveness as well. Like, the likes of dropping Patrick Harkin. A bit like what Mayo should do, drop Aiden O'Shea. Like, they're getting to that stage of their career now. They need to be dropped in favour of young talents now. It's the time for that. And maybe that's not a particularly bad thing. Patrick Harkin come off the bench and do well for us um, in, the next, in the next few games when players are getting tired. But, um, yeah, not for me, ranting really about Cork, but about Waterford, they look the real deal. Even without Jamie Barron, without Austin Gleeson, wow, Stephen Bennett, outstanding, Patrick Curran, tight the Bork, and Cara Daly, yet another player to add to this brilliant team. And, my God, Waterford look a very good prospect at the moment. Conor Prunty at full-back. The question is, can they prove it against Limerick? Now, I honestly think for Munster, I think Limerick and Waterford are way ahead of the rest. I think this third place team will be between Clare and Cork for third place. I think Tipperary are a bit off at they have some nice players, but I think Clare and Cork, it depends on Clare's injury list going into the championship. I think it'll be between Clare and Cork for third place, Aaron. I don't know what you think about that yourself. Yeah, I'd agree with you. Yeah, and I, I, it's a hard one, really, like to, to choose between Clare and Cork. I mean, you could argue either way. I'm actually not too. Who has home advantage for, for that game? Do you know? It's a neutral venue, simple stadium. Oh, oh, is it? Is it? Yeah, that'd be that, that'd be interesting, all right. Because you've seen last year as well, obviously, when Tony Kelly had that chance right at the end of the game and it was obviously saved by Patrick Collins. Um, but yeah, like you were saying with Patrick Horgan, I mean, it is interesting, all right. I don't think you'd hear too many Cork fans who will definitely say that he should be dropped from the team. But um, like, do you have anyone else there maybe that could take up the freeze though obviously the 65s and all the rest I mean is there other players there I mean I know he's missed a couple this year and he's obviously been talking a lot about the colour of the slitter and everything else but I mean what do you reckon would there be someone else there that could fill that sort of void because I do think he kind of has that leadership role in the team as well that maybe other you know I suppose that other players maybe wouldn't have 
Well, to answer to your questions, Aaron, when you look at the freeze, we have Shane Kingston, we have Shane Bowers, and we have Conor Lehan, who can easily take freeze as well, as good as Patrick Horgan at this stage of his career. And as for experience, I'd mean Seamus Hartley is better than them at the moment. I'd put Seamus Hartley above Patrick Horgan. He is experienced in this team. Darf Fitzgibbon's been around the block for a few years as well. There, there are experienced team players around. Conor Lehan, of course, has just come back in. He's near 30 now, so he's an experienced player. And when you look at his scoring ratio for play, he's better than Patrick Horgan. So to answer all your questions, to run the point even more, there's other players that can step up if Patrick Horgan is out of this team. Oh, that's just my opinion. I just think uh, Cork fans are just thinking, oh, he's the best player of the country. I don't think he's even the best player in Cork at this particular moment of time. He would have been over the last few years, definitely. And he was for Glenn Rovers at the club championship. But I just don't think he is at the moment. So I just think he's lacked a bit of pace. He lacks a, a small bit of nose as well. Um, look at um, the modernisation of the game as well. Like Shane Barris. Is better player at the moment. Alan Connolly is more of a goal threat than Patrick Horgan, and that's why I'd have him over him in the team. Shane Barris is more speed. Connolly is more goals. Kingston is the better player all around. Conor Lehan is a better player all around. Hartney, I think, is more of a leader than Patrick Horgan. And Robbie O'Flynn, I think, is one of the most underrated players in the country. So, and we have scores as well for midfield. Darf Fitzgibbon, Kieran Joyce, if he's put in his pr- proper position midfield where he's excelled, he can score as well. Um, I'd say even put Robert Downey back to the full back line, not, not necessarily full back, but in corner back. He's a bit too slow, in my opinion, for wing back. Maybe we need to put someone like, I'd say, Mark Coleman, Tim O'Mahony, and um, someone else there in the half back line. But um, yeah, just a few tweaks to the team here needs to make before championship and um, will be right as rain. But if we don't make these changes now, I think we could even struggle in this Monster Championship, to be honest with you. Thank you very much for watching this clip of the very most recent podcast uploaded on the channel. If you do enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe so you're notified every time I do drop uh, a new upload. And it does very much help the channel grow and help the channel uh, reach more people. So I very much would appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the video. You can also follow the uh, page on Instagram and you can also follow on Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. You can follow on all social media platforms as well. So if you're not already followed over there, go over there and give the page a follow to help the channel grow as well so i do very much appreciate anyone tuning in and i'll see you all later